Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be simplifying a very important expression. Now this problem I think I've seen it in one of the books on the internet, I don't know, somewhere, uh, but I think it's a really good problem. You know why? Because we're going to be simplifying an expression in general form. We don't even know what n is. The only thing we know is n is an integer. Of course, that's given. Otherwise, this would be crazy, right? So, we're going to go ahead and simplify this for all values of n such that n is an integer. So, we're going to come up with a general expression and then we'll check our work against Wolfram Alpha. Do you think Wolfram Alpha can solve this problem in the most general sense? That's going to be a good question, right? Sometimes there are problems that Wolfram Alpha cannot solve or maybe my prompt is not good enough, but I really like those problems where Wolfram Alpha kind of fails to provide a good answer. Anyways, human beings are always better than AI. That's what I believe in. Uh, if you don't, that's fine too. And let us know what you think in the comment section down below. Anyways, let's get to the problem. I'm going to start by testing some values. So I think uh, it's going to make the problem more clear. So when I said, can you simplify this? I want you to express this expression without using any exponents, but of course it's going to be in terms of n, kind of like a function of n, makes sense? Using pretty much anything you want. So let's explore. I want to start with n equals 1, because sometimes if you can solve a problem, try some numbers and get it, try to get a feel for it. And our goal is to get a pattern here, okay? So if n is equal to 1, for example, you're going to get 1 plus i to the first power, plus 1 minus i to the first power, which means you're going to add them and you're going to get a 2. Easy, right? i cancels out. Okay, that wasn't too hard. n equals 2 will add a level of complexity, but again, it's doable, pretty doable. All we have to do is square each of these expressions. Again, these are numerical values. Again, this is not going to solve the problem in general sense, but it's going to give you, give you an idea. So what is 1 plus i squared? You should definitely memorize this. But let me show you real quick. If you expand this, you're going to get 1 plus i squared plus 2i. i squared is negative 1. They're going to cancel out. You're going to end up with 2i. So this is 2i. This is negative 2i. If you add them, you're going to get 0. Awesome. So n equals 2 gave us 0. Later on, I'm going to show you a table, which will hopefully make more sense. Okay? And take a look at n equals 3. Obviously, we're not going to try all the integers. But this will also be nice. And let me tell you, to keep a long story short, if you try this, you're going to get negative 4. And should I show you the fourth one as well? Maybe. Why not? n equals 4 is going to give you 1 plus i to the fourth plus 1 minus i to the fourth. And something interesting happens with this. Uh, actually, not with this one, with the next power. Uh, and I'll show you later, okay? I'll, I'm going to show you a table at the end, which kind of summarizes uh, some cases, okay? So, these are the values. By looking at these numbers, what can you tell? It's really important to get a feel for this because if you have some ideas, then hopefully you can try to verify them. Or when you find a solution, maybe you can just uh, maybe justify it, right? Who knows? So here's what we're going to do. This is basically some numerical examples. Let's go ahead and try to look at the general case. In the general case, obviously, there are a lot of complications and we kind of have to look at infinitely many integers. So I want to break it up into cases. So we have 1 plus i to the n plus 1 minus i to the n. And then n is an integer and we tested some values so hopefully we got some ideas. So what happens for example if n is odd, right? If n is odd then this means n can be written as 2k plus 1 such as k is an integer 2, right? 2k plus 1 is always odd if k is an integer. And then if you plug it in, you're going to get something like this, you know, with these kinds of problems like kind of like number theory, divisibility issues, right? Parity. Uh, you plug it in and then it'll give you some insights. Now here, notice that we can separate these into 1 plus i to the 2k times 1 plus i. And then the same thing with the 1 minus i, right? Now, 1 plus i to the 2k basically means, because you know what 1 plus i squared is, right? So we can kind of write it as 1 plus i squared to the power k, multiplied by 1 plus i, and then the same thing for this, 1 minus i squared to the power k, and then multiply by 1 minus i. Okay, we're, we're almost there. Now, 1 plus i squared, remember that is 2i. So this is 2i to the k times 1 plus i, and this is 
negative 2i to the k times 1 minus i. Now, are these two the same? No. Depends. <laughs> okay, that's a good question. So here we have to split up again. If k is even, these two are going to be the same thing because even power will just absorb the negative. If not, then you'll have a minus sign. So there is a lot of cases, but instead of going this route, I have a better idea, but I just wanted to show you this. This is not necessarily the right way to do it or just one of the ways to do it. I want to look at it from a different perspective. You know why? Because of the powers of i, I want to split up integers into four groups. That's going to be mod 4. So there are four kinds of numbers. N equals 4k. You know the joke about binary? There are two, um, there are two kinds of people. What was it? Ten kinds of people? Anyway, something like that. I forgot. <laughs> so N equals 4k plus 1, 4k plus 2, and 4k plus 3. So basically, we're talking about four different kinds of numbers. The numbers that leave a remainder of 3, 2, 1, and no remainder when divided by 4. Make sense? This will cover all the integers. And let's just take a look at a couple cases because this should give you some ideas. For example, start with the first one. If n is equal to 4k, then I'm going to be getting something more concrete, obviously, because when I try the evens, it didn't really give me something nice. Well, it kind of did, but I had to branch off again. But this time you're going to be good. You'll see why in a little bit. Now, 1 plus i to the 4k, right? Remember the, f uh, the fourth case? We uh, squared both of these numbers. So we can kind of write it as follows. 1 plus i to the fourth, and then we're going to raise it to the power k. And the same thing goes here. And what is 1 minus i to the fourth power? You can think of it this way. 1 plus i squared is 2i. I have to square that again. So it's kind of like 2i squared. And 2i squared is 4i squared, which is negative 4. So if this is negative 4, and guess what? This is also negative 4. So we get the negative 4 twice, which is interesting, right? So it's going to look like this. Hmm. What is that though, right? Isn't that kind of weird? Well, here's the thing. Uh, we can kind of, uh, you know, write this in a different way. How can we do that? Well, first of all, uh, we had 1 plus i to the 4k, right? Well, actually, I have a better idea. Let me do this. So we got the 2i from here. And then we're supposed to raise it to the power 2k because I kind of separate it. I guess it would make more sense if I uh, put the 2 here and a 2k here, but you get the idea, hopefully. And it's going to be negative 2i to the power 2k. Notice that these two are the same because 2k is even. So I can kind of write this as 2 times 2i to the power 2k. Make sense? And then this is where the fun part comes in. We can kind of split it up into this times that. And now... This is 2 to the first power, so I can kind of combine them. 2 to the power 2k plus 1. And since i squared is negative 1, I can kind of write it as negative 1 to the power k. Awesome. Now, this is the funnest part. This is the answer, but I'm going to give it to you in a different form. All right? And I'll also show you what that looks like towards the end. Okay? But here we have something like negative 1 to the power k. Now, what would happen if we went through another case like n equals 4k plus 1, 4k plus 2? You can go ahead and test it or try it for yourself and see what happens. But here's what's going to happen. Let me show you, okay? That should be the expression. By the way, this, oh, one thing we, before I forget, this expression is actually in terms of k. So I have to convert it. Well, what is the conversion formula? n equals 4k, remember? So k is equal to n divided by 4. So I have to back substitute that. 2 to the power 2 times n divided by 4 plus 1. And then times negative 1 to the power n over 4. Now this is the fun part. These two are going to cancel out. You're going to get 2 to the power n over 2 plus 1. And I'm going to multiply it by negative 1 to the power n over 4. Of course n is a multiple of 4. So n over 4 is always an integer. So that's my expression. But again, we're going to write it in a different form. Let's go ahead and take a look at what Wolfram Alpha gives us. So what happened? All right, great. We had that part, remember? But then, why did this change? Because if you think about it, if k is even, you get a positive 1. If k is, or n, I, that should be an n, sorry. If n is even, oops. If n is even, this should be a positive 1. And if n is even, this should be a positive 1. And if n is odd, this should be a negative 1. Make sense? It's the same thing. So that will be pretty much the answer. But 
here's the table that I was talking about. Notice the values of 1 plus i to the n, 1 minus i to the n, that sum for different values. Here's something interesting. If n is 2 mod 4, you always get 0 from that sum. Isn't that interesting? And also another pattern that I noticed was that these two consecutive powers always repeat. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.